Today we're going to do a project about the saguaro cactus. We have a few things we're going to do. We're going to do some drawing, we're going to do some painting, we're going to do some imagining, we're going to do some sculpting, and we're going to do some paper mache. But before we begin, let's learn some saguaro cactus facts. The saguaro cactus lives in the Sonoran Desert, which is a really big desert in North America. Saguaro cactuses can grow to be 40 feet tall, and they live a really long time. They can be 150 to 200 years old. Saguaro cactuses only start to grow their side arms when they reach the age of 75. And sometimes they don't grow side arms at all. The saguaro cactus stores rainwater so it can use it in a drought. Birds really like to make nests inside of the saguaro cactus. And so the Gila woodpecker, it will peck a big hole into the cactus and build its nest inside. When a saguaro cactus stores up its water, it can get really, really heavy. It can be as heavy as a car or a rhinoceros. Let's practice drawing a saguaro cactus. Let's start by drawing a cactus without any arms, which is called a spear. Don't forget the sharp spikes, which we call spines. Now let's practice drawing a saguaro cactus with arms. And don't forget the spines. How many different cactus shapes can you make? Now can you turn some of your saguaro cactuses into crazy critters? If you're still drawing, just pause the video and keep on working. And don't forget to take some pictures of your cactus critters. We'd love to see them, so send them to us. Now we're going to learn about the inside of the saguaro cactus. There are these long pieces that we call ribs. These ribs help hold up the cactus. We humans also have ribs. Where a cactus's ribs create structure for its whole body, our ribs create a cage to protect our heart and lungs in. That's why we call it a rib cage. Now it's time to draw the saguaro cactus ribs. First, draw the outline of the cactus, and then add some ribs in. They're not going to look exactly like saguaro cactus ribs. They're going to look a little bit abstract. When we use the word abstract, we generally mean one of two things. An abstract idea is something that exists as a thought or something you imagine but that doesn't exist in the physical world. Ideas like love or beauty are examples of abstract ideas. You might love something, like your parents or something you own, but the love part doesn't live in those things. It lives in you, in your feelings and thoughts. In art, the word abstract refers to paintings, drawings, sculptures, and more 
that instead of trying to show you something from the world, try to give you the feeling that things in the world might give you. Instead of painting a sunset, you would think about the parts of a sunset that give it its unique look, the colors, the shapes, the textures. Then you would use those parts to make a painting that feels like a sunset, but doesn't look just like one. If you're still working on your magical cactus picture, pause the video and keep on drawing. And don't forget to send us those pictures. We really want to see what you're working on. Time to sculpt. You will need a piece of cardboard, but if you don't have one, it's okay. You can always just make it without a base. You also need a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. Both work great. You need some masking tape and also some scrap paper. Any kind of scrap paper works great. If you don't have enough scrap paper, you can always use other recycled things that you find around the house, like plastic bags or other things that you can crumble up. You'll also need a pair of scissors. Start by cutting your paper towel or toilet paper roll to the size you want your cactus to be. Next, cut four slices into the roll and bend them back like this. Now you're going to tape these onto the cardboard so that it stands up straight. Make sure you really push the tape so that it really sticks. If you don't have any cardboard to use as a base, you can just skip this part. Now we need to make some arms for your cactus. So take the scrap paper and crumble it up so it's nice and long. Now take some tape and tape, tape, tape your arm. Make sure you use a lot of tape to keep it really strong and sturdy. Now it's time to tape the arm onto the cactus body. This part can be a little bit tricky, but I find it's easiest if you first tape the bottom part on, just like this. Then bend the arm back and tape more tape on the top part. Once your cactus arm is taped on, use your hands and bend it around and up so it's sort of curved. Now you can add more arms, as many as you want. Don't forget to use a lot of tape. You really want those arms to be sturdy. We need to make the top of your cactus rounded, because if you look at some of the pictures of the cacti, they're not just flat on top, they're round. Now, I'm running out of paper, so I'm gonna use some plastic that I found, and I'm gonna crumble it up and tape, tape, tape it onto the top. I 
think I'm almost done sculpting, but I sort of want to put one more arm on. Where should it go? Over here? Maybe over here? How about here? Yeah, I like it right there. So crumble, 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 and tape, 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 and get that last arm stuck on. If you're still sculpting, just pause the video and keep on working. Later, we're gonna make little animals like birds that live inside of your cactus, but we need to make the holes for these animals to live. So take a marker and draw a few holes on your cactus. After you draw where you want your holes to be, go and get some grown-up help to cut them. It's really tricky to cut, so go and get some grown-up help. Next, we have to make some paper mache. For this part, you must go get grown-up help because we have to use the stove in the kitchen. To make paper mache, you need flour and water. If you have salt, that will be helpful too. Add half a cup of flour to the pot. Add one cup of water. If you have some salt, add a nice heaping portion. This will help preserve it. I normally turn it upside down and just let some salt pour out into the mixture. Now use your hands to really mix it and make sure there are no lumps. Once you have it all mixed, boil it on the stove. You must let it come to a full boil because the heat brings out the starch. Make sure you keep stirring it as you're waiting for it to boil. You'll be able to tell when it's done because it'll start to boil so you'll see bubbles. Also, it will become thick. Once it's thick and kind of creamy, it looks a little bit like cream of wheat or like pancake batter, then it's time to take it off the stove. Make sure you let it cool down because it'll be very, very hot. Now it's time to paper mache. I love to use brown paper bags when I'm paper macheing, but if you don't have any brown paper bags, you can use any type of paper. You can use scrap paper, you can use plain paper, you can use colored paper, any paper works. If I'm using a thicker paper, like brown paper, I go to the sink and I wet the paper. This might sound a little bit silly because you don't normally give paper a bath, but it makes the paper much more flexible. Now it's time to paper mache. You can see I'm set up with my bowl of paper mache and my paper. Rip small pieces of the brown paper and apply a thin layer of paper mache to it. I like to use my fingers because it's kind of fun and a little bit messy, but you can always use a brush if you don't like the way it feels. So what you're going to do now is you're gonna cover up your entire cactus with pieces of the brown paper or whatever kind of paper you're using. Make sure that you use not too much paper mache, but enough. You really need to make sure that every part of it's kind of wet with paper mache and fully covered. You don't want to see any more tape when you're done or any more cardboard, just paper mache. As you can see, I'm using smaller and smaller pieces and really smoothing them down. The first few pieces you use are the hardest, but once your hands get sticky and the paper gets sticky and your cactus gets sticky, it all will start to work really well. Make sure that when you're going around the hole that you Push the paper into the holes so that later, when it's dry, you'll be able to put cute little critters in there.
You will know you're done when all of the cardboard and all of the tape is covered up with paper mache. Now we have to wait for our cactus to dry. Once it's dry, we'll have a new video up that will show you how to paint it, and we'll also have some other art projects about the critters that are going to live inside of your cactus. Love to you all! Make sure to send us photos of what you're working on. We can't wait to see!